2011, easily without question, was one of the best years of my life, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. So listen, see, before all this came, Kenton, I was living in Seattle, smitten with a girl. She broke my heart and treaded over it. You'll hear it in a second. I'll sing a song about that inside my fucking rap, but I ain't going to talk about that chick. She's a waste of my fucking yap. See, I moved across the country just for my heartbreak, and eventually I was like, fuck this place. I'm moving to a different state. I escaped. I dipped and left, went from the west to the east and made myself inside of Minneapolis where I found a home, you see, up in June 1st is when I finally worked and I find this place, the beautiful city I've ever seen on this goddamn earth. And I've seen a lot of places. Got tattoos on my fucking arm for the continents that I faced. Four of them, baby, and eventually I'm gonna get seven. Yes, you best believe I'm gonna see fucking Antarctica before I die and go to hell or heaven. But in that time, hold on one second, Ryan, I've seen some fucked up shit that you wouldn't believe in your life. 2011 was great, but the world gonna fucking change. Because 2012 is coming and there's Mayans in it, babe. <laughs> the Mayans don't know shit. They fucking died and didn't finish their calendar, bitch. So put your fucking pipe away, because it ain't gonna talk about no hippie shit today. So anyway, this is the truth of the fact. 2012 might go to fucking crap, and next thing you know, when you're looking back, you'll be like, fuck, 2011 was the shit. Why am I running away from zombies like that? How did this come to this? Why did The Walking Dead run across Frankfurt Avenue trying to fucking eat my head? Oh shit, I'll tell you exactly where it began when fucking Jason Bourne Identity ran for the mayor of your friends. Yep. Matt Damon came around, standing there in the crowd with fucking glasses so you wouldn't recognize him like Spider-Man Superman style. Yep, Peter Parker, Clark Kent, take him off, fucking dark tent. Next thing you know, that ain't Boris What's-His-Face, that's fucking Goodwill Hunt Tent. Yep, stay right there, get your vote. You like them apples? I stole that joke. Took it, recycled it. Thanks, Bird, for writing. I fucking bit it and did it and fucking everybody liked it. So... I'll tell you exactly how it went. Fucking Matt Damon got voted by all of y'all friends. Nah, none of y'all friends, because no fucking young people vote. You just bitch and protest after someone's elected, yo. <laughs> yep, I know how it goes. It's a universal worldwide. We fucking get high, and then when they're elected, we're like, we want them to die. Did you even try? Nah, I didn't want to go outside, because it was fucking raining, and I was too damn stoned, and the TV was on Prime. <laughs> Instead of actually voting, you people of intelligence quotient, they had a fucking blind chicken named Blind Linda come to the booth and yo, and that little chicken started